I will show how to save some time on rated unit tests. What will help us is a ChatGPT extension. The following one, ChatGPT is your code. They also have a plugin for running using a unit tests using just that is named just run it. Very good plugin actually. So let's navigate into some of the pet projects code. Uh, and there's a function update client here. It has a client ID and some input information about the clients need to be updated. So if you navigate here, we see that the client has a full name, email, phone, home address. When this business function receives client, it validates it. It's quite a simple function for the demonstration. It just checks that full name and email are not empty. And if they are not present, uh, error is shown. Next thing this update function client does. Emulates going into repository with this client ID takes some update token and this if this update token is not present we receive 403 error can't update client if all this validation phase are passed and we have an update token to proceed with this operation and go to the client repository provide this client to be already mapped into database model format entity and this update token that we have generated on the previous step. After that, we can go and receive the updated client detail from response and return back. So let's check how ChatGPT extension can help us writing unit tests for that. Uh, if you think it needs to understand our code, we can run index code base. We select the current folder of this study example. And after that, ChatGPT starts to understand overall context of the project, what functions exist, and index them. Then we can go back here and write prompt like write unit tests for client domain.ts for the following file, update client function, use just spy for all async function calls to mock them there are several async function calls, this update token, retrieval and final update client. And what chat GPT generated us, let's copy this code and we'll create some unit tests. So client domain test is based result of from chat GPT and now let's quickly fix some imports here. Let's see the logic of the test that ChatGPT has written for us. So de describe update client. There is some client ID, input, okay, full name, some mock data, mock update token, then client db, db type response, offset simulation of database entry here, updated entry has email. Mm -hmm. has some new email in comparison with previous one. What about update client DTO? Mm -hmm. Just copy paste of update client DB fields. Uh, before it, it makes just spy client repository get update token. So it mocks the first async function and it mocks the update client async function. So it, if we look into the code, uh, we see that it's really a unit test because this pass and this async pass were mocked after each test reset restore all mocks okay and let's see how it goes it should update client and return updated client DTO so it calls our function with client ID and with this input with this mock data and what happens next and it, it, it expects that client repository get update token was called with client id and update client was also called with this client db and update token that was actually mocked 
and then res result should be updated client data transfer object. Really good test, looks good. It's a positive scenario. What about negative scenario that has proposed? Should throw error if update token is now. Okay, so if client repository get update taken, token mock return value now, mock resolve value, and it expects that update client rejects to throw 403 can't update client. And then it checks that get update token has been called with client ID, but client repository update client not have been called. So let's look into logic. Okay, so if update token is not provided, so operation is restricted, it definitely throws an error and update client should not be called. Okay, good. I should throw error if input is invalid. Mm -hmm. So we provide an empty object with empty strings and we expect that update client with such invalid input rejects to throw for name and email can't be empty. And then update token is not called and update client is not called. How uh, ChatGPT grasp about this scenario? So let's go to the original function here. And we see that right at the beginning of the function, there is this validate client function and it, it, it receives the client input data transfer object. And it checks this scenario for name and domain can't be empty. So we can go back, okay, save this test and try to run it. Let's see. If it works after imports we will fix it. Okay, so all the three scenarios are working. In some more sophisticated scenarios, you can ask a follow-up question, like write more tests. And let's see what chat GPT will do next. So it the same working data here. Mm -hmm. Tell us what scenarios should update client and return update DTO. It was already discussed this, it discusses this. Should throw error if input it is invalid. Okay. Should throw error if client is not found. Mm -hmm. So let's probably take this two new tests that ChatGPT has for us based on this prompt. Here I asked a follow-up question. And let's put them here and check what ChatGPT proposed for us as some more data sets. So let's review its logic. It should throw error if client is not found. So if client repository get client mock return value, but we are not uh, using get client at all. So uh, this test is a bit broken, so let's just skip it not interesting because we are not using get client and update function but the next test looks a little bit more promising should show error if update client fails so first it creates an error update client failed uh, it spies client repository update client and mock rejected value is set up with this error then it expects that if update client is called, it should reject and throw this error. So what it means for us? It means that if this update client function is executed from the domain logic and client repository update client is failed, uh, nothing swallows this error. So it should be rethrown. Mm -hmm. So rejects to throw error. And we expect that get token should be called, but update client and update client should be called, and it should rethrow error if client repository update client fails. So uh, we can save this file and reopen this file after that. And run this final test that ChatGPT has created for us. Okay, it's also passed.
Thank you guys. I hope it will boost your productivity.